Hi, this is Frank Taylor and it's mid-April and I'm on Sandy Hook in the state of New Jersey. Sandy Hook is a barrier island peninsula right across from New York City. I can see the skyline from here. And today's episode is going to be about the snowy egret. I'm here on Plum Island. I parked at parking lot B and this is also part of the Gateway National Recreation Area. What a fantastic place to see this wildlife right across the New York City. Pristine, clear water is really amazing. Today's episode is going to be about the snowy egret. And I've been sitting here watching him uh, work and fish. It's really a fascinating thing. So stay tuned for this episode on the snowy egret. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. It's just an absolutely stunning spring day out here on Sandy Hook. I'm back here in the marsh. and I've always found marshes to be such a fascinating place and have so many fond memories of my dad taking me here to Plum Island when I was probably 10 or 12 years old and just spending my whole day out here looking for fascinating nature things. I really love watching this snowy egret. He's so fascinating to see his behavior while he's hunting. The scientific name of this snowy egret is Egretta thula. And the word egretta comes from provincial French, which means little egret. And this egret is considered to be one of the smaller of the white egrets. The snowy egret has an enormous range, including most of all of North America, Central America, and South American coasts. And it was so exciting to be here and observe this bird up close in this New Jersey marsh. You can identify the snowy egret by looking for its black bill, black legs. And then if you look closely, when he pulls his feet out of the water, they're bright yellow or orange. And these are referred to as the golden slippers. And it's very cool to see the egret dancing across the water in his golden slippers. If you see a large white egret and you see these golden slippers, you know for sure it's the snowy egret. You can also see that the snowy egret has distinctive blooms on the back of his head and drooping from the nape of his neck. These were known as egrets. These brilliant white fluffy plumes were highly desired for decorations on women's hats and by the turn of the 20th century they were hunted almost to extinction. Since protective laws were put in place and they're now protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, the snowy egret numbers have rebounded. Like all wetland birds, they're still at risk due to habitat degradation and destruction of these habitats. Snowy egrets look similar to the great white egret like this one right here. Great white egrets, however, are taller and have a very typical S-curved neck and all black legs and they're lacking those golden slippers and they have a very orange bill. Behaviorally, the great white egrets are more ambush hunters than the snowy egret. The snowy egrets will be often more animated during hunting and jump and chase after prey. Watching these birds on a hunt is really fun and captivating. The snowy egret employs various techniques while it's hunting. Sometimes it's trying to ambush its prey with stealth and grab it with a lightning fast strike. Other times it'll shuffle their feet along the bottom and sometimes just one, use one foot to stir the bottom and watch for a fish to flush out. Like the great white herons, they'll lean their necks to one side or another to better see their prey. Other times they'll unfold their wings and run across the water in an animated manner to catch fish. Snowy egrets feed on a wide variety of prey, including fish and crabs and other crustaceans, insects like snails and frogs or toads, and almost any invertebrate they can catch and swallow. It's so cool watching this bird go about its daily activities and feeding on fish in this marsh. 
Given its wide coastal distribution, the next time you go to a coastal environment, look for these wading birds in a marsh near where you are. These birds can be seen today thanks to legislation, both to protect them from hunting and more importantly, protecting their coastal environment. And you can help these birds by encouraging the protection and conservation of our remaining coastal salt waters and freshwater wetlands. I hope you can get outside and go explore and find these beautiful snowy egrets and get to observe their behavior as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door here in, on Sandy Hook, New Jersey. This is where I used to come when I was a young man. My father used to bring me here when I was a boy and I just always remember enjoying walking through this area at low tide. If you like what I share on this channel, please subscribe and give me a like and always leave me a comment. I love reading comments from my viewers and I respond to everyone as soon as I can. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door here Bayside on Plum Island, Sandy Hook, New Jersey.